Hello all and welcome back to our course A6 Advanced course that will cover a complete construction of a bridge from A to Z. In this course, we'll go through a two-span bridge like what you have seen on the screen. We have covered many, many parts like creating WBS, adding activity, making the logic. And today lecture is about activity codes. Okay. What is the purpose of activity codes? So in this lecture, you're gonna learn how to assign activity codes, why it is important, how you can do it. So activity codes enable you guys to filter and group and sort the activity. You can add many codes. I need to have a code for excavations. I need to have a code for concrete. I need to have a code for design activities. And you can filter uh, all these codes. So you can assign it to the project, globals, EPS levels, so let us now go to uh, P6 Live and show you guys how to create the activity codes. I tried my best to make the videos very short so you can capture all the information. If you need any backup, if you have any questions, please send it to me and I will respond. Okay, so on the screen you can see this is a project, the bridge A1, that it is uh, to span and we created the WBS in the previous lectures and the activities. Okay. How to create activity codes? You go enterprise and you will see here activity codes. Okay. You can make it global, you can make it EPS, you can make it to the project. I would like to make it specific to my project. I will go modify, add, and by the way, I will see here bridge codes. Okay. I need the lens seven and then close okay so you have now bridge code what i will do here i need to have by the way uh, design i can give it a value of the way in one i need to have another code for foundations i will give it two i will add another code for super structure okay super cop sct okay okay close so now i would like to assign these codes to the activities what can i do you see here in the bottom activity detail you have codes if it is hidden for you you make right click customize and you will see on the left side so highlighted and then move this arrow here so we will have the codes i would like to have by the way start work start work i will add it here into the project you can see i will add it by the way for foundations i think we have some filter here yes okay apply procurement activity codes i can add any codes okay Add it to the design for now. Beam the same. Here's excavations. Make it by the way to foundations and so on. Okay, let me add one from the superstructures. So to show you guys how what is the benefit of that. Here I will add superstructure. And this one also superstructure. Okay. And this one also superstructure. okay so now you assign all your codes to your activity i would like to see here group and sort and i can go here and i will choose my codes okay so i think we call it bridge code yes bri bridge code you can see all levels apply So you can see guys, I have organized my schedule by activity codes. So it is flexible way to ignore the WBS and filter your activity by codes that you like. You see this one here, I didn't assign any code for it, but if you go by the way and the, uh, you choose by the way bridge completion and go to project and uh, superstructure, you can see now it is moved 
to the superstructure and you can assign all of that. So it is very easy. You create activity codes from enterprise and then you assign each activity to the codes you like. I need financial code, I need construction code, something like that. And then you group and sort. I hope you guys you like this lectures and stay tuned and we'll have a good exam. We'll have many materials. So see you guys in the next lecture. Have a great day and see you.